We're going to be harvesting dandelions, the flowers and their leaves. Um, we're going to be getting their buckets. Um, yeah, the buckets that we were harvesting with earlier. We're going to try and fill them up again halfway full with the leaves and the dandelion flowers. Um, we're going to make a yellow dye with that. So if you want to get started. So this is the nettle, and you can see, if you look at it, see how it's fuzzy? The nettles don't actually poke into you. They just kind of break off, and they're like histamine. It's like a bee sting, and it doesn't go into your skin, but it does sting you. So I would take it above the last set of, last set of leaves, like right about here, and then this part here. If you're really quick with your fingers, you could probably do it, but you probably get swollen fingers too. So you're getting these leaves as well, or just the middle bit? Ooh. Oh, I get these leaves as well. Get those these, leaves as these well. These would be fine. I would take it right there Great. and use all of this. If you're cooking them to eat, you get your water boiling and then you put them in there just until they're really bright in color. And you take them out and put them in an ice bath. And then they're, and then you can handle them and do anything with them. Because that, that boiling them and then putting them in an ice bath, bath takes all the sting out. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really good eating. They're, and they're really good for you. They're real high iron, lots of lots of vitamins and stuff. But um, then you get that dye bath too, or that whatever. I've never tried dyeing with it, so I'm excited to see if it works. Um, it's a really quick window and they're starting to open up already so you have to look for places like right now you're going to have to go look for shaded spots or places that are cooler because once they start to open once the leaves start to pull apart it's too late and you can tell right away if it's too late because you go to pick them and you get they stab you in the fingers. 